Hey, I'm Dave. And I'm Jenny. And this is our kitchen table. Our big, huge, hickory kitchen table. I built this kitchen table last summer, at the end of last summer. Yeah. Right when it started to get cold. What we want to do is we want to take these chairs, which are from another table that we used to, that we just bought, mm -hmm. and we want to make the chair seats match the hickory on this table. So I'm going to start with flipping this chair upside down and removing this chair seat. It's just a few screws you got to take out. And we're going to use that as a template to put down on a big panel of hickory that we've glued up and we're just going to cut it out from there. I should just be able to lift the base up, there we go, right off of the chair. And we're left with our template. Okay, so we've moved out into the garage and the first thing I'm gonna do is take some measurements of this piece so I know how much hickory I'm gonna need to use and glue up and whatever. First I'm gonna measure here, front to back, well, my front to my back, because uh, that'll tell me how many planks I need to line up. So I'm gonna go grab a tape measure and a pencil. Okay, so I know it's 17 inches wide and I just need to multiply that by four because we're doing four chair seats and I'll know how long my whole, uh, chunk of hickory needs to be. Sixty-eight. <laughs> Sixty-eight? Sixty-eight. Oh! Phone calculator don't lie. Sixty-eight. Okay, so now that I have my pieces picked out, what we have to do is run the non-factory edges of all these planks through the table saw so that we have two straight edges on both sides. All right, so before we run these through the table saw, I need to take each piece and figure out the narrowest part because that's, that's the biggest the piece can be is where it's at its narrowest to get the most amount of material from each piece. Now, so the next step is we need to cut out these pieces into about 18 inches long uh, so we can go ahead and glue them up as panels and then we'll cut out the final shape, get them flat, sand them smooth, and then finish them and we'll be done.
All right, we're gonna call it a day there for day one of this kitchen chair upgrade. So these guys have gotta get glued up. We'll do that off camera so you don't have to watch glue dry. But anyway, if you've watched this far, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We're just learning, we're trying to figure it out. So if you have any tips or saw things that we can improve on, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this. We're super excited that you're hanging out with us and you're gonna see all our projects we do from here on out. Is that it? Yes. You sure? Yes, I'm positive. Anything else you wanna say? Nope. <laughs>